I'm back. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but trust me, I had so many attempts of making a video. It's just that the lighting um, was never any good and I be, well, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Well, I wasn't satisfied with a lot of, um, I don't know, I think I made like four or five videos that didn't turn out the way I wanted. So now that I do have my ring light, at least now I can film at night, right? Right? Because I tried. I tried filming during the day. Um, I am back and I will be filming more. So I'm really excited about this one. And I hope you guys can support me in uh, my videos. And yeah, so I hope you guys are excited about this look. I did a uh, celebrity copycat tutorial kind of thing. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching and have fun. All right, so hi guys, good evening. No. This is the first time I'm going to do something like this, but I've been wanting to do a sort of celebrity inspired makeup look and uh, the per first person that I've chosen to do is one of my favorites just because um, I, I'm a huge fan of hers um, from, well definitely the Hunger Games, but I also really like her uh, for her acting chops. but. I think out of all the great things that I've seen her in, my favorite would still have to be um, her role in the bank, sorry, in the Bill Engvall show. So if you guys don't know about this show, please go ahead and look for it. It's the Bill Engvall show from, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 2011 or 2012. This was before she became a huge Hollywood star and I think she's brilliant in it. She's, she's so, uh, she's pretty hilarious really. Um, so for those who think she's kind of fake um, with her dorkiness and how um, crazy she is and how um, how socially awkward she can be and how I don't know she's just weird that's why I like her and it doesn't hurt that I think she's um, she's pretty too she's not she doesn't have a very common face but anyway um, I am a huge fan so anyway I have chosen to do her first for my celebrity inspired makeup look and today I'm doing Jennifer Lawrence. One of my favorite looks of hers is from I think it's from a red carpet look from the Academy Awards 2012 I'm not sure. She wore her hair long, um, very blonde and she had it in semi curls. I tried to do it um, but it's slowly going away but anyway um, I'll fix that again later on. But Let's uh, get started on the makeup. And one thing that I've noticed with Jennifer Lawrence is her eyebrows. Her eyebrows always look slightly undone. Um, I know it's huge on Instagram and on YouTube now to have a perfectly shaped eyebrow and with the, the perfect arches and the, um, what do you call this? Just the perfect shape really. Uh, where you have it starting thick and then it thins a little bit to the end um, But with her it's always just if you guys check out her first Hunger Games movies It's almost just a line um, Or just like a straight line or a very curvy line. So what I've noticed with her um, a lot is that her eyebrows are usually just very 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 simple very basic so uh, we're going to start off with that one. So before we begin, I already have eyebrows on because I never leave the house without any eyebrows, hardly ever. Um, so I'm going to start off with that. So I'm going to erase what I have first and then we're going to start over. So before we begin, I'm going to start off with prepping my face. And today I'm going to use the hydrating gel cream from, oh you can't see that. Anyway, it's the hydrating gel cream from Bobbi Brown. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my face just to um, make sure that it, it it ain't dry. So it's, I'm going to take a little bit from the cap. So Jennifer Lawrence always has a very healthy looking um, glow to her face. So that's just to prep the face and I'm also going to prep my lips with some chapstick. This one it was with some lip balm. This one is from Burt's Bees Replenishing with pomegranate. So Jennifer Lawrence always just has like a, a rounded brow 
not much going on really so I'm gonna try my best not to arch it too much or create too much of a shape so she's really more just like Rounded. So like I said, J-Law is known for having brows that don't look too perfect. Um, the shape is just very simple and the less perfect the better. So you can go for an, uh, a messy brow look even. And it, remember it's supposed to be quite thin. Now I just went in with a retractable pencil and I outlined it. Now I'm using my favorite brow powder which is an eyeshadow from MAC and I'm just filling it out and then I'm gonna go in with my retractable pencil in a darker shade just to make it a little more defined that's just how I like to do it alright so now we can move on to the rest of the face so the focus of this makeup look is the eyes so I'm gonna prime my eyes first with my concealer brightener from Maybelline and then I'm just gonna spread that all over and I'm gonna use this brown moussey base that I, a freebie that I got from NARS I think it's in Laguna and I'm just gonna put it all over and then I will tight line with this Bobbi Brown eyeliner in jet black and I'm just gonna smudge it out with a smudging brush next I'm going to take this light silver with a brown base eyeshadow from my Etude House palette and I'm just going to put it all over the lid because we are going for that shimmery, smoky eyed look. And then I'm going to take the darker shade and take it to my outer V and bring it in a little bit and uh, bring it all the way up to the brow bone as well or to uh, on top of the eye socket. Just look for where it folds and go in there or take it a little bit higher even. So you, with this look, you're allowed to take your um, darker eyeshadow out a little bit more because it's like an exaggerated version of what your eyeshadow should look like. That's what Jennifer Lawrence always does. I also, by the way, curled my lashes. And now I'm going in with this fluffy brush and I'm just going to go and blend that outer eyeshadow even more. Take it out a little bit and bring it all the way on top as well. So just keep on going. You can even go in and get a little bit more of the product if you want a more intense look. And uh, just keep on blending that. So you can go crazy with this one because if you notice, J-Law always has that um, eyeshadow that goes out of her eyes. So even when she's smiling, you can see a little bit of the shadow as well. And then I will be uh, prepping my lashes with some mascara. I'm going to put my lashes on and then seal it with mascara again. I just use natural looking ones by the way. Here I'm using the same colors of eyeshadow for my lower lash line and just, I'm just gonna define my eyes a bit more and here I'm tight lining. So I did eyeliner previously and now I'm tight lining and also putting a little bit just right outside of my waterline near the lashes and I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes as well. This is to define your eyes a bit more and create that big eyed look. I'm gonna clean all the fallout. Here I'm cleaning all the fallout and then I'm applying my eye cream, but this eye cream from Bobbi Brown is just meant to be put on your under eyes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit just to make it a little more plump. And then I'm gonna get my foundation. This is Laura Mercier and I'm gonna put the shade below because I forgot and I'm just going to put it all over my face now and spread it evenly. So you don't put have to put that much product because with Jennifer Lawrence you always still kind of see her skin. Um, and then I'm just going to go over the areas that I didn't get to cover with my fingers. I'm using a creamy concealer from NARS this time. This is in Light Honey and I'm just going to put it a few dots under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, beside my lips, and right under, and on the cupid's bow as well. I'm going to blend it all out. There you go. And I'm going to set my concealer with this um, translucent powder that I got as a freebie as well from Laura Mercier when I bought the foundation and an eyeshadow palette. For the rest of my face, I'm using this um, this one from MAC, it is a uh, mineral powder in light and I'm just putting it all over my face. This is my NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm using it to contour my face. So I'm just going to go in and the temples of my cheek but it's not going to be a harsh contour. 
So I'm just uh, doing that in circular motions all over the face, um, under my, on my temples, on my chin. This is my Bobbi Brown Rouge or Rouge Pot in a powder pink and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks as a base for my blush. I'm using NARS Orgasm on top of that just to give me a nice glow and this is my Mary Luminizer um, what do you call this? My highlighter that I'm using on top of my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to take that Bobbi Brown Rouge pot again and put this on my lips just to give me a, uh, a light wash of color on top of my lips, just to lighten my lips a bit and prep it for this um, very pigmented gloss that I gloss <laughs> gloss that I have from the balm. I will put the name underneath. And that's it for the makeup look really. Um, in the picture that I looked at for this look in this particular look of hers, she had like loose curls, like a tussled look for her hair and I just uh, curled my hair a little bit to achieve that. Alright, so there you go you guys and that is the finished look for the Jennifer Lawrence uh, celebrity copycat tutorial. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and even if you didn't, I would appreciate um, a subscribe and also I'll see you guys online. I am on Twitter and Instagram. Just look for Sarah Hernandez on Twitter and at C-E-R-A-H or at Sarah on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. You can comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you have um, any requests for a video that you want to see. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you to everyone for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. for helping me out and buying my ring light. I'm so happy. Do you guys see my rashes? I'm having a skin allergy of some sort. Yeah. I started out with this just one allergy and people thought I had a hickey. And I was like, I don't mind you that you think it's a hickey. I'd rather that than you know that it's an allergy because it's kind of gross. It's skin rash of some sort that won't go away. Anyway, I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow and I hope it's nothing serious. <sighs> oh, you ring light, I love you ring light, I love you ring light, you're the best thing ever, you're the best. So I have been recently loving online shopping. I have been able to purchase a few of my drugstore wand, makeup wands, those that are only available in the States and only available in the UK and I got to buy them on olx.ph and I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, I love you Olx, you're the bombest. Yo the illest, the bomb diggity is, diggity is, right? <laughs>